Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at two SQL coding interview questions that are asked at Microsoft. I'm gonna take you step-by-step step on how I would solve these questions if I was in an interview. Let's go over them right now. All right, so we're gonna be looking at team power users and also super cloud customer, uh, easy and medium difficulty. We'll start off with the easy one, team power users. So it says, write a query to identify top two power users who sent the highest amount of messages on Microsoft Teams in August, 2022. So let's dissect this first statement over here. So I'll just put a comment and ask everything that, or write down everything that's needed for us. So first thing it says right here, so we need to have a limit on this one. So we need to have a limit of a two, right? Then it says highest amount of messages on Microsoft Teams in August, 2022. So we need to have a filter, date filter, with this, right? And then the other thing, it says highest number of messages. So we're gonna have to probably group by like a user ID or something like that. I have to look over here. Uh, they have a sender ID, but so far we have those three criteria just from that first sentence itself. So I'll put the results in descending order based on the count of the messages. So order by Descending by count messages, which is good. All right. An assumption no two users have sent the same amount of messages in August 2022. That makes it actually kind of nice. And then we have our table over here, which is messages. And that's the only table we're going to go through our example output. So I'll just put this over here too. So output wise, we have a sender ID. And then we also have uh, messages counts and you can see that the two are over there. So let's think about this first uh, What we're gonna have to have is a group by statement and we might use a with as well uh, CTE, but let's take a look at this first group by so we're gonna do select and then we're gonna have over here the sender ID Then we're gonna do counts. We can put whatever in there. I'm just gonna put content right and I'll just say as uh, aug mess just like that from, we're gonna grab this messages table. Okay, we're gonna group by also the sender ID. And we need to also have a where clause in here from. So let's add in our where clause, right? This is to get our August one. So what I'm gonna do is send date is between. So I like this, it'll save it some time. And let's put our two dates. So August starts with eight. So I'm just going to do 731, 731, 2022. And, and then we'll do here, September 1st, 901, 2022. So let's think about how this is built out right now. Select we have our sender ID. Then we are counting how many messages for as August messages for messages, right? Sent date is between 731, 91. For that, let's just comment this out over here. Let's run this code just to make sure it's looking correct. And we have an error. Oh, the error is, I put is between, should just be between. So run code. And there we go. So uh, sender ID 2520 has three messages, 3601 has four and 4500 has one. And those are the three that are in there. So that's good, right? Now we need to limit this to two. So the way we can do that is through a subquery. So let's think about how we're gonna do this one. Um, specifically, could just go over here and do select and then we'll just grab sender well yeah we'll have to grab the sender id and august messages right so sender id august messages from let's just open this up over here like that's okay then we're going to do order by August messages, and we could do limit two. Let's tab this out and see if this one specifically works. Run code. Oh, I didn't put A. So sorry, guys. Let's put from A, and we'll just grab these over here. A dot there, and A dot like that. Now run this code, and uh, you can see these messages over here. But we need to change the message count like that. So first we're gonna do this over here as message count, and then order by this and we're gonna put descending. Uh, that way we have the 
highest at the top. So you can see four and three, let's submit this code. And it's been accepted, it's easy, just like that. So we subqueried the inside over here uh, to grab the account for each of the different sender IDs in that month of August. And then on the outside for the, for the subquery, we're just gonna limit two and then we're gonna format it specifically how they want. Pretty easy question overall. So question number two, we're taking a look at SuperCloud customers. Uh, so Microsoft SuperCloud customer is a company which buys at least one product in each category. So let's write that down over here. So it looks like we have to buy at least one product in each category. So start thinking of how you're gonna set up group statements and also if we're gonna have to have a specific subquery or not. So over here, write a query to report the company ID. So output is our company ID, which is a super cloud. So output wise, they just expect the company ID and then they just says it's updated. So we have a table here called customer contracts. So we have customer ID, product ID, and amounts. This is an example over there. Uh, honestly, we don't even need the amount. We just need the customer ID and product ID, it seems like so far. Uh, we're gonna output this, and I'm sure this is a join. And then we have a products table, which is product ID. So we're gonna join this over here. Assume this is the primary key on that one, a product category, which we'll have to use, and then product name. So. Like thinking about this one first, we're gonna have to figure out, you know, how many distinct uh, product categories there is that's gonna be used in a calculation. So let's just write that one out first. So we're gonna select counts and we'll put distinct and then we'll put over here product category. And then which one is this tape products from products. So I'm gonna comment this one out over here just to make sure this always works. Run code and then you can see uh, that we have three specific ones from there. So I'm just gonna comment this out over here and we'll put over here also the name as distinct product category. So we know that there's uh, three specific ones on that side of things. Uh, so next thing what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna do an inner join between these two tables and then we'll figure it out from there. So uh, first thing we're gonna do, I'm just gonna do a select star for now from and we're just gonna grab customer contracts. We'll name this as CC. Oops, don't want that auto correct. And then we're gonna join over this products table. So join products, we'll name this one as P on P dot product ID equals CC dot product ID over there. Just to show you guys how this works, run code. So customer ID, product ID, amount, product ID. So that's in here twice, right? And then product category and product name. So that's what we want to see, which is really good. So that means it's starting to work. I'm gonna clean up some of the space over here. Don't need that as much as more of the code. Awesome, all right. So now that we have this, let's start thinking about it's kind of some of the other things that we would specifically need. So first off, we need to have and the output, the customer ID. So we'll put this on side of things, customer ID. And then, so let's think about what we can do next. I'm thinking that we can use kind of like a width or a, a subquery on this side of things. We'll grab the customer over here and do their distinct product category since we have it there. And then we can have a where clause, which looks at this. So what I'm thinking we can do is select customer ID and we'll need that in our output, right? And then also we'll do a count and we'll do distinct product category once again. So distinct, put product category in there is, and I'll just name this as DCP. And just to run this to show you guys how this works. Well, actually before that, we need to have a group by uh, customer ID, so. Filter down, right? We run this code over here. You can see each of the customer IDs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the DCP on here. Good to see, okay. So now let's do our subquery on the outside. So select, I'm just gonna say star for now, from, put these in here. Let's add all of that in this inside section, right? I'll name this as A. Say a1 so it doesn't auto correct where a1 dot dcp 
equals, and then we're just gonna grab this statement from earlier. You guys remember how many there is. And we'll put that over here. And then let's just grab a.customer ID or a one dot customer ID. And I think that's how we're gonna solve it. Hopefully this does end up working. We'll run the code. So customer ID of seven, let's submit that. And it's been accepted. Hope you found this video helpful. If it was, make sure to subscribe as it does help out with the YouTube algorithm. By the way, you should check out my video right here where I go over two Twitter SQL interview questions.